Last question, then we'll go to closing statements. I'm sorry. No worries. Bill O'Brien, Suffolk Federal Credit Union. Shortly after the demise of um, Lehman Brothers and the financial collapse, credit unions uh, in this region, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, had well over nine figures worth of mortgages stolen, and an unwitting um, receiver of that was a government agency. For the next two years, a massive holder in due course battle ensued, and I had incredible support uh, from my congressman, both an immediate response, a consistent response. And frankly, it helped the resolution of that issue. Given the wavy nature of America today, unemployment, uh, regulatory burdens, the economy, how would both of you gentlemen keep your decision making and your time spent on local issues? I think the kind of work that we do to help resolve problems of the type that Bill cited or the problems that our everyday constituents walk into our office with, I, I frankly think it's the most honorable work that a member of Congress can do. Uh, it was Tip O'Neill, I guess, who said that all politics is local. Um, it's very true. But this isn't about politics. This is about service, and this is about a recognition of an obligation that an elected official has to those that he or she represents. Um, and so my office has placed enormous emphasis on the quality of our constituent service and on bringing the federal government to the table to help resolve local problems. And we've done it over and over and over again for 10 years. And you know, when, when we debate, Randy and I have had about, I think, 1,200 debates in the last four days. Um, I talk about constituent service, and Randy generally says it's a given. And I, I'm just going to suggest to you that it is not a given. It is very, very hard work done by very skilled and very dedicated people who are determined to help the constituents that we represent. So the, the work that we did to help with, with, um, with Bill's problem was work we were proud to do and frankly proud to be at least a small part of what ultimately turned out to be a good thing. The 15,000 constituents whose problems we've solved we have affected positively 15,000 lives. That is the federal government doing the work that it can do very, very well through its instruments, one of whom is me. And bringing the federal government to the table, and now whether it's bringing them to the table uh, to help the, the displaced residents of Horton Avenue, or whether it's bringing them to the table to construct the rail spur from the Ep EPCAL, to uh, the Long Island Railroad main line so as to make it easier for the business of EPCAL to bring in raw material and then ship out their, um, their finished product or whether it was helping uh, the folks at the Brookhaven Rail Terminal get their permits to go forward so that we could take trucks off the LIE and, um, and engage in economic development. Those are the kinds of things that my office does every single day and at the risk again of being immodest, we do it really, really well. Thank you. Uh, certainly, constituent service is absolutely critical. Uh, I think uh, Tip O'Neill's uh, "Politics is Local" is is a good uh, a good motto for all politicians to live by and public servants to live by uh, as we think about what is most important for our people in our community and to help them on the day to day issues. And I know that's so critical for so many of you. Uh, I can only tell you that I built my two companies through customer service. When we had service businesses, I know how to work with customers. I, I report to my customers. Those customers pay my salary. And if we don't do what our customers want, and if we don't provide that good service, we won't have a company anymore. And that's the, uh, the ethos that, I've, uh, that I follow and that I've also made sure that all my employees follow. And I will use that skill set uh, that has, I think, done well for me so far if I'm fortunate enough to be elected to Congress and apply that as well. And everyone in this audience, at least those who live in the first congressional district, if you don't, I don't really care, but if you do, uh, but everybody who lives in this audience will be, my, will be my customers and you pay my salary. Uh, you know, often when I'm traveling around, people come up and say, uh, Mr. Alchel, and I say, no, this isn't Mr. Alchel, I'm Randy. Uh, you're the Mr. and Mrs. because you're the person who, who's gonna pay, pay me uh, to do your bidding. And that's the attitude I'm gonna have. Uh, and look, I, I do think in, in constituent service is absolutely critical, but if we don't solve some of the larger problems that we've got right now, uh, and we've got a lot more unemployed people here in Long Island over the last 10 years, 
Uh, we've got 40,000 more unemployed people. The unemployment rate on Long Island has gone up almost 50%. So those constituent problems are absolutely critical to solve, but at the same time, if we don't do an overall improvement of the economy, uh, those could, unfortunately, if you're losing your home, one out of 10 people, you're more than nine days behind on their mortgage payments. If you don't have a job, if your kids can't afford to live here after school because they've got so much student debt and there are no jobs available, th those are really ginormous problems that we've got to face. Uh, and obviously, as an effective congressman, we need to be able to deal with both.